One of the most frequently asked questions about Macs is how do you scroll, and why is that? It's because it works a little bit different on the Mac, and people who are switching from Windows to Mac might have trouble getting used to it. Let me show you the differences and how to switch between natural scrolling and reverse scrolling. So here I have a typical web page where I need to scroll to see all the content. The primary where you scroll depends on which device you have. Let's say you are on a MacBook with a trackpad, or you have an iMac with a magic trackpad or a magic mouse. To scroll you use two fingers on the trackpad and move them up or down, scrolling up and scrolling down. It's all done the natural way, so moving your finger up will push the page up, and swiping down will push the page down. Now for some people it might not seem the right direction, it's opposite on how you might have been used to it on the windows. On Mac it's called natural scroll direction, and it's basically simulating the scroll on the touch screen, because same way you scroll on an iPhone or iPad, using your finger on the surface on the screen. But if you don't like it, you have control over this. Go to system preferences and then you click on either trackpad or mouse depending on what you are using. You will see here under scroll and zoom tab the scroll direction, which is set to natural. It shows you in an example here on the right, and you can see exactly what happens when you scroll with two fingers. You can turn this off and it will reverse the direction. Why even have an option to reverse it? Well, many years ago the reverse direction was actually the normal direction. The scroll bar would move in the opposite direction on the actual content. So if you are used to it for many years, you might prefer to untick this option. But for me, the natural scrolling feels more natural. And what about you? Did you have any problems with it when switching to a Mac? Let me know in the comments below. And also, if you have any other problem with the Mac, share it with me and I can make a video about it to help you out. Here is Luke from Apple Online Academy and I will see you again.